What's up guys, welcome to a new video and today I will show you all the movies that I bought in the month of October. And all the movies that I bought this month were on the Dutch Comic Con. I bought 10 movies in total, uh, 9 Emery's including 6 for the slipcover, 3 without and 1 media book. Um, no steelbooks this month and it was a really long time ago that I bought no steelbooks for a full month. Um, firstly I'm going to show you all the movies that have a slipcover and the first movie that I show you is starring uh, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence and Robert De Niro in this silver linings playbook with this matte finish slipcover which looks really nice. The spine and the back with the synopsis in Dutch and French. And here we have the bonus features and the audio and subtitle languages. <coughs> the Emery has exactly the same artwork. And on the inside we have here the disc with a simple but nice artwork. And below it we have some advertisement for other Blu-ray titles. A simple but nice edition, but I'm gonna say it immediately, I got sell this edition. Um, but with the English disc I bought at Black Friday the uh, Zavi Steelbook. And I don't think this is a movie which I can clearly understand without a subtitle. So the Dutch disc goes into the um, English Steelbook and then I'll sell this edition with the uh, English disc. I don't need this twice. Um, it's a nice edition but I don't have that much space so yeah, I'm not gonna keep it. The second movie that I show you, um, I have the other three movies from this movie saga in the Dutch Collector's Edition with two uh, Blu-rays including a DVD and I could not find the uh, Collector's Edition from the first movie at all. It was really hard to find or I searched on the wrong places and uh, on the Comic-Con I found it for only four or five euros. It is The Hunger Games, the first movie with two Blu-rays and the DVD in this really nice slipcover. It's glossy and wow, it looks really cool. And I'm really happy that I finally got the Hunger Games Saga in this kind of an edition complete. Um, I already had the first movie, but that was in the Future Shop Steelbook with Region A discs and Region B player. So yeah, I was watching this movie on Netflix uh, the whole time, but now if I can finally watch it on Blu-ray. Really happy with that. The side and the back, unfortunately with two uh, synopsis. One in Dutch, one in French. Technical information. And the Emery looks exactly the same. On the inside we have here some advertisement for um, the Twilight Saga Breaking Down Part 2 and Step Up for Miami Heat. Here we have the Blu-ray disc with the movie. And here we have the bonus Blu-ray. And as you can see, this space here is empty. Um, the DVD is supposed to be there, but I bought it without the DVD for some reason. I don't know why uh, there's no DVD in this edition, because it says clearly to this Blu-ray including DVD, but for some reason there's no DVD. Um, I go buy it, but yeah, second hand when I ever found it, find it for a really cheap price because I'm actually never gonna watch that DVD but I want it to be complete. So yeah, not that happy that the DVD is lost but I will fix it once. Next, um, the previous month I believe I showed you um, this kind of an edition from the second movie and now I finally found it from the first movie with this Georgia slip cover. It is sold out for a long time and I'm really happy that I found it for only 5 euros on the Dutch Comic Con. It is from the Amazing Spider-Man 1 uh, in 3D. Looks really nice. Look at that. What an awesome looking slip cover. Damn it looks really nice. Embossed, debossed, holofoil, absolutely amazing front cover. Um, one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. The side <coughs> and the back. The synopsis and the technical information. 
discs are region free. A transparent Blu-ray case with exactly the same covers. And on the inside we have here, um, there's no 2D version included, only the 3D version. Um, here we have the bonus disc with really nice artwork. And here we have the 3D disc. I haven't tested yet, uh, I haven't seen how it looks in 3D yet, so I cannot tell you, uh, wait, I can tell you, it is 2D compatible as well. I was thinking that um, there is no free, uh, 2D version on this disc, but yeah, I just found it. Um, the next three slipcovers are from One Saga. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the trilogy. This is the uh, the first one, the Curse of the Black Pearl, with a really nice glossy uh, slipcover. I have this movie in the Zavi still as well, and the same goes for the uh, second movie, the third one. Unfortunately, not. Um, but yeah, my my parents like this movie as well as well, um, and the. English discs do not uh, include Dutch subtitles, and my parents always want Dutch subtitles, so it was the whole time, yeah, why well, you no know, subtitles, why don't you buy it with subtitles? And now I found all uh, free movies for five euros each, so I thought I just buy them. They come with a slipcover, looks really nice. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the two titles, yeah, all the movies come here with the English and French title. As you guys know, I absolutely hate that, but I thought for five euros, including a slipcover, um, now we finally have them with subtitles, so yeah, they can't complain <laughs> anymore about the subtitles. Um, the third movie was not yet in my collection. I really want that in the Zavi Steelbook, but that is kind of expensive on uh, eBay, so it was the whole time, ah, uh, next month, next month for like two years already. Um, but now I finally have the third one as well. For me, the worst parts of the Caribbean, I know I'm one of the 10 persons in the world, who do not find uh, on Stranger Tides the worst Pirates of the Caribbean movie, but um, yeah, for me, Edward's End is the worst Pirates of the Caribbean movie. But the most important thing is finally we have them all with Dutch subtitles, so no complaining anymore about that. Uh, and now I'm going to quickly show, uh, show you the um, slipcovers. We have here the sticker, which is removable, but I'm going to leave it there. The side. Again with the two titles, really hate that. And the back. Technical information, region B. And the synopsis. What do we have here? Oh, the bonus features. <coughs> and the Emery looks exactly the same. Here we have some Advertisement? I don't know. I just show you. It's written in Dutch and French. Here we have some information about uh, how to play a Blu-ray disc. Very difficult, of course. And we have here. Here we have disc one. Yeah, it's, it's a Disney artwork, so yeah, not that spectacular, but always better as the completely blue artworks. And here we have the bonus disc with Jack Sparrow. Um, unfortunately, that artwork is not in high definition, but just uh, standard quality. But yeah, it's an, it's an older movie, so yeah, I will not make a problem of it. It's already nice when you have a bonus disc. That was the Curse of the Black Pearl. The second movie, Dead Man's Chest. Personally, my favorite movie from all parts of the Caribbean movies and one of my favorite movies ever. The main characters on the front. The sticker is removable again, but I'm gonna leave it there. The sides with here the two. The back. Technical information, region B. The bonus features and the uh, synopsis in Dutch and French. Here 
the Emery. There's a sticker with uh, a two hair on the top. I still have to remove that. Side and the back. And here we have Liar's Dice. It is a uh, game on the bonus disc. I know that from the Zabi Steelbook. Not written in English, but in Dutch and French. Again, how to play a Blu ray disc. Here we have the disc with the movie. And here we have the bonus disc with Jack. Um, yeah, again in standard quality the artworks. And that was everything for Dead Man's Chest. Or, yeah, French. And then we have the last one from the trilogy, of course, At World's End. With what a gorgeous slipcover. The front looks absolutely great. It's very nice, embossed. Well, it's, it's hard to see on the camera, but wow. Why can't they make such nice slipcovers anymore here in Holland? It is already rare when you have a slipcover. Um, do not imagine about steelbooks because steelbooks are here really rare and mostly in our international releases. And then you can buy it for cheaper or better in other countries. Um, but yeah, where are such nice slipcovers? Um, they don't make them anymore for some reason. Um, the Dutch movie industry is just fucked. You get only shit from other countries. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful looking slipcover. Really, really nice. The sides with here the free. <coughs> the back with the synopsis. The bonus features. And here the uh, audio and subtitle languages. Again, region B. Wait a second. Region B. This one is region B, but I think that there's a mistake, a misprint. Yes, there's a misprint. This is the uh, slipcover from um, Dead Man's Chest. Dead Man's Chest? Yes, Dead, Dead Man's Chest. Region B. And when we look on the discs, Region 3 and Region 3, a misprint. And now I'm really curious about um, the Curse of the Black Pearl, is there, is there a misprint as well? Yes, there's a misprint as well. Um, here region B and when we look on the discs region 3 region 3 that's interesting a misprint on the slipcover and on the back as well on the back it's exactly the same mistake so now everyone knows that this editions have region 3 discs at least the first and the second movie because the third one is region B. Pretty interesting, region B, here. Jack Sparrow is the artwork and the second disc, region B as well. So the discs from the third movie are region B and the discs from the first two movies are region 3. Interesting to know. Um, then we have the Emirates without the slipcover and two movies are from uh, the same movie saga. Um, I'm going to show you the first movie. Where do I have it? Here. 
Um, the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe here with the Dutch title. Um, not necessary in my opinion to print only the Dutch title, uh, better said to print the Dutch title, um, but thumbs up for only one title. That's really rare here that they place only one title. Um, normally they place here big the English title and then here the Dutch title and then the French title. Now only the Dutch title. Really happy with that that we only have one title but it is not necessary in my opinion to place the Dutch title but yeah I will not complain about it. I really really like it that they print only one title. The Chronique van Narnia, The Leeuw, The Hex and The Kleerkast in Dutch. Side and the back with the synopsis and the bonus features and the audio and subtitle languages. This one says Region B and I'm now I'm really curious. Region B is correct. Here we have again how to play a Blu-ray disc. Here we have disc 1. And here we have disc 2. And then we have the second movie. Um, here with the English title. The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. The Chronique of Narnia, Prince Caspian in Dutch. Side. And the back. With the synopsis, bonus features and audio subtitle languages. And again I see a B. But I think it's correct here. Yes, it's correct. How to play your Blu-ray disc. These are all Blu-rays as you can see. Here we have the first disc with the movie. Nice artwork. And here we have the second disc. And unfortunately this one has two titles. The English and the French. I'm really happy that I finally have the first two Narnia movies in my collection. Um, I, I already uh, saw Prince Caspian uh, years ago. I really liked it. I had never seen the first one before. I saw it for the first time this year on Netflix. I already had the 3D Blu-ray from um, the third movie. I forgot the uh, subtitle of that movie. Um, the, Dawn, the, Voyage of, the Voyage of the Dawn Trader. Uh, I hope I... I hope that's correct. Um, that one includes the DVD Blu-ray and the Blu-ray 3D and a really nice slipcover. Unfortunately the first two movies do not have a slipcover but I'm really happy that I finally have it because um, together with the Dutch dub is really hard and I'd rather watch these movies with the Dutch dub. Um, not everyone will agree with me but yeah I watched the movies on the way I like them. So that were um, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and Prince Caspian from the Chronicles of Narnia. And now finally my Narnia trilogy is complete. Um, then the last Emery. I believe two or three months ago I showed you the DVD from this movie. And now I found the Blu-ray for only 4 euros. High School Musical 2 in the extended edition. I grew up with this movie saga, still love them and it's really happy that I finally have it on Blu-ray. The DVD did not look that great, um, but the Blu-ray looks really cool. Here's the front, the sides <coughs> and the back. Synopsis, bonus features and the audio and subtitle languages. How to play a Blu-ray disc. And the disc itself, which is region B. Now I only missed the first Husky Musical movie in my collection, but yeah, soon it will be there. There's only one movie left, and that is a media book. And um, I haven't seen this movie, I have no idea where it is about. It was a blind buy, but I know it includes the DVD, the Blu ray, and a 4K Ultra HD. And uh, this movie is starring Samuel L. Jackson. Already Samuel L. Jackson is for me enough uh, reason to buy it. it. It is still sealed and it's a, a limited, limited to erst auflage with UHD Blu-ray, Blu-ray and DVD, DVD. Um, limited first print with um, uh, Ultra HD Blu-ray, Blu-ray and DVD restored in 4K, restored in 4K, uh, 24 pages booklet with um, 
text from Christoph and Kellerbach. I hope I say it good. Um, I'm gonna show you it. It's 187 with, as I already said, Samuel L. Jackson. It's still sealed as you can see. It is a media book with, um, it, it looks like leather. Um, looks really nice. It, it feels like great quality. Um, yeah, I hope it is great quality, but how it looks already sealed. This is top quality. Um, the side, 187. Um, so that's what to see. I hope you can see it. Blu-ray at Ultra HD. It is red and very hard to see. And on the bottom we have DVD. I hope you can see it and otherwise it's not that important. Um, the back, written in German of course. Technical information. The DVD has a running time of 114 minutes and the Blu-ray of 119 minutes. Um, what's the audio? Dolby Digital 5.1 German and English. On the DVD and DTS HD Master 5.1 German and English. On the Blu-ray and styles in German and English as well. Um, there's not a running time. Oh, here is the running time of the Ultra HD. Um, again 119 minutes so the Blu-ray and the, the Ultra HD take a little longer as the DVD but yeah if you have the Blu-ray and the 4K Ultra HD why should you watch ever the DVD I don't know but yeah nice to have um, soon I will unbox it on my channel but now I seriously have no time uh, to watch this movie so yeah maybe at the end of the month or even next year I will make an unboxing from it um, I haven't seen none of the movies that I bought yet um, since I bought them I have to say it like that I hope you understand me um, but yeah I hope soon I find some time to watch this movie but until then it will stay sealed and that was everything that I bought in the month November 2017 I just realized that I said October in the beginning of this video, but of course that is November. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you guys for watching and check you guys next time.